welcome to my youtube channel today in session with sumit we are going to look at how we can format the string in python and how we can make use of the format functionality so let's say i have a string um, a is equal to i love python now if i wanted to print this i can just simply say print a so i will get the string back but sometimes we wanted to have a placeholder where we can input some 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 value so let's say i have a value a is equal to 5 and now i wanted to print that um, that or maybe a is equal to 3 and now i wanted to print that i love python now here i want this particular variable a to be placed over here so what I can do, I can make use of this curly braces. This is known as, known as a placeholder. And then I can format this statement. And I can say that uh, format this string using this variable a. Now what will happen? This format statement will place this particular variable over here. So if I run it, you will get I will of Python 3. Now if I change this value to 4, I will get I love Python 4. So this 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 is nothing but known as the placeholder. Now I can have multiple placeholders, and each placeholder can have its name. So let's say I have a value a is equal to a is equal to Sumit. Uh, Sumit is a string. B is equal to let's say okay. Then B is equal to let's say Python, and then let's say I have one more c is equal to 3 so let's say now i wanted to print that i uh, i have a placeholder that will be my name that dash so this is a placeholder this is first placeholder then loves then second placeholder and the third placeholder so now here i wanted to put my name here i wanted to put python and over here 3 so i can format it format a comma b comma c so what will happen this a will be going to this particular placeholder b will be going to this and c will be going to this particular placeholder so let's run it so you can see sumit loves python 3 but you can also name these placeholder you can say that this is placeholder number zero this is number one and this is number two now what what is the use of this so if you so what will happen if you change these positions so this is this is placeholder number zero this is one and this is two so these are nothing but the index values now if you put two over here and one over here you will get you will get a will be it will be placed over here uh, two which is c c will come to this position and b will come to this position so if i run it you can see Sumit so loves 3 python because I have just interchanged these two numbers. So if I write a, a value, a number over here that will act as the index position and it will refer to the index of these variables that you have mentioned over here. Also what we can do, we can even put number, we can even put uh, variables, um, not variables, uh, the alphabet identifiers. So let's say I again copy this particular uh, string instead of 0 1 2 3 I'm writing a or let's write or let's say X this is my Y and this is my Z now over here I need to explain what is X Y and Z so X will be equal to a Y will be equal to B and Z will be or Z will be equal to C so you can see that um, over here I have got X as a y as b and z, z as c and so these are non, known as your variable identifiers <coughs> you have basically used a variable or a alphabet to 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 declare the uh, to declare the placeholder now together with this you can even format or you can even have a padding you can add some space you can reduce some space you can even align the align the um, uh, your, your print statement accordingly so let's say you wanted to print um, 
let's let me write it um, then I'm writing B is to uh, again let's say 8 and then C C is to again 8 now what this is what I am doing over here so let me first of all put them back into parentheses uh, sorry inverted commas dot format and now I can mention what is a so a is let's say uh, name B is let's say age and C is let's say uh, phone number now if you look at over here we uh, it has basically uh, so this 8 is is talking about the number of spaces or the padding so if you if you count the spaces we, this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay you, we have one extra space over here also so now if i count if i run it again uh, this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you can see that to, we have total space of 8 from this point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 again total space of 8 and from this point also total space of 8 so this is a method to basically align or basically add some padding to your uh, to your string you can also align these these uh, these alphabets or these words so if I, if you wanted this particular word to be left aligned you can you can mark you can use this sign so this basically means um, aligning my word towards the left and if you put this sign it will basically means that aligning my word towards the right and if you use this this cap that basically means aligning the my word towards the center now if i run it you can see that this is aligned towards left this is aligned towards right and this is at center now accordingly you can add more lines to it so that you get a beautiful formatted table so now you can have a as let's say sumit age let's say 24 and accordingly you can have a phone number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now you can see that again the values are coming very much uh, aligned to your first row so this is how you can basically add paddings even if you wanted to add some character let's say you wanted to fill this space with underscore so you can add underscore over here even you can add underscore over here and you can add underscore over here now it will basically add all these spaces will be filled with a underscore so it will be a nicely looking format now together with this you can even format your uh, numbers so if you wanted to add commas so sometimes it happens that you wanted to format a number with with a comma so let's say I have a number uh, let's say I have some number a is equal to 1 2 3 5 6 7 something 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 and let's say you wanted to add the commas according to the ones thousands and hundred position so what you can do you can basically say again you need to use curly braces and then uh, add, in, uh, add the identifier so let's say a is 2 then add the comma and then you can format format a is equal to a or maybe let's look put this as x so x is equal to a now you look at here this has automatically added the commas according to the position according to the uh, number system uh, you can also um, you can also decide how many float values you wanted uh, after a after a decimal uh, like after a uh, decimal point number so let's say you have a point number something like this now let's say you wanted to limit this or uh, maybe let's say I have this number but you wanted the uh, the the output to be returned as this so you you need to basically pad uh, you need to add this zeros and this can automatically done by again the print statement and the format format functionality so here I can say format 
uh, again first of all identifier then point 4 f so after 0 I have 4 point uh, 4 uh, alpha, 4 numbers so here that's why I have written 4 and f stands for floating point number so dot after dot I have 4 4 uh, digits and f basically means floating point number then dot format and I wanted to format my a so okay uh, a is sorry let let's it be x again just to my python is getting confused so now you can see that it has aut automatically added your number of zeros so because it was 2.34 but i wanted the 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 output to be returned in this format having four ending digits so that's why it has added two two zeros to this particular input 2.34 now you can even convert your number to a percentage so let's say you have a number a is equal to let's say 0 0.009 or maybe let's say 0 0.89 now if you wanted to convert this into a percentage what you can do you can again use the format functionality again the identifier and then uh, 0.2% so what's the meaning of this I am basically saying that uh, first of all you should have the curly bracket mm -hmm. okay so here basically I am saying that I wanted to have a percentage uh, the output to be written as a percentage but it should have two decimal places after the after the after your decimal point so let's format it format format x is equal to a now you can see that it has been converted into percentage so it has automatically multiplied by by 100 now sometimes what happen let's say you have a variable a is equal to uh, 3.45 and let's say you wanted to print something like this plus 3.45 so if i print print this a variable you will get 3.45 will not get this plus sign even if you try to make it as minus you will you will you will get minus but you will not get plus so that's that's the problem um, now this can again be solved using your uh, uh, your format statement so you can say i want so first of all identifier x is 2 <coughs> then after this i wanted to have a plus sign it will be followed by two floating point number and then i can format format my variable a so let me put plus sign sorry plus sign and now let me put over here x is equal to a so now you can see that i have a plus sign over here so again like if you wanted to have negative you can have negative if you wanted to have positive you can have positive so these are various various methods uh, which will make your life easy working with working with python print functionality and the format functionality thanks for watching my video and please like share and subscribe to my channel session with summit let's meet in the next video